Washington City, they're renewing a 15 year old tradition smoking meat, hundreds of pounds of it. KBC Man's Michael Mahoney has the story. Look at that, so, beef. And a lot of it, unless you compare it with this. There's your briskets. They, those went on about 6 o'clock this morning. We got turkeys also on here. We got pork butts, which turn into pulled pork. This is not a smokehouse, it is Kenny Burnett's garage. He and a handful of friends have a 15 year tradition of smoking meat for family and friends and friends of friends. Think about it, it's a sneaky way to see your friends at the holiday time. Folks bring their meat in the day before Christmas Eve, and then this gang cooks all day, tracking who has what with these numbered metal washers screwed into the meat, and accompanied, of course, by a Ribs Christmas list. With a number on it, so we keep track of who's is who. I haven't lost anything yet. Hundreds of pounds of meat being smoked on an eight rack rotisserie smoker, meaning lots of hanging out time, punctuated by bursts of teamwork. Burnett says folks bring in all sorts of things to smoke, everything this side of bear meat. Actually, they did try to smoke bear meat. The bear is very gassy. Don't do it. <laughs> we will never do it again. Everybody was walking around here that afternoon regretting that they'd ever touched it. A good story for good friends who have made a tradition of smoking meat for all their friends this time of year. Michael Mahoney, KMBC 9 News. Those are some very sneaky, smart men. That gang of men does this four times a year, Christmas, Thanksgiving, Easter, and on St. Patrick's Day.